Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube channel. Hi, YouTube, YouTube channel. Hi, YouTube. What's up? Hi, guys. I'm back again with another video. Uh, less makeup tutorial -y and more um, beardy. We're gonna make a beard today, guys. Um, using synthetic wigs, tacky glue, and liquid latex. All right, so the wigs I'm using, or decided to use, uh, we have a nice cosplay, um, nice cosplay synthetic wig that I don't use. Uh, so we've already cut off little bits and pieces of this one right here. And then we have this other one, this curly wig. Which I actually didn't use a whole lot of because um, it's garbage. But yeah, so the trick is basically to cut off little bits and pieces from the synthetic wig, take tacky glue, and kind of cut off pieces about this long, uh, and just take the ends with the tacky glue and do that. Once you've done a bunch of those, which I have, um, then you uh, apply your liquid latex in layers and then um, well I'll, I'll show you so we're just using your standard Mayron liquid latex stuff here I don't think this is gonna focus you know it doesn't need to focus all right and I'm not gonna use a little brush that comes with it I'm just gonna go in with a regular brush and just apply um just a word of advice um it is good to moisturize the face it'll make this easier for uh putting this you know taking it off all right so add your first layer of liquid latex like so let it dry and um, you're gonna want to let that get a little tacky before adding maybe another coat and if you're wondering why I'm pulling stuff off my other cheek it's because I fucked up on what side I want to make my half beard on because I forget that I do it on my right side so that's the thing all right um, I would go in with using some sort of brush you don't mind getting with the latex on, by the way. Um, the Myron liquid latex does come with its own little brush, but it doesn't work that great in my opinion. So I don't really know how big I want to make this beard. Um, this and okay and I hope this works because this happens often a couple of different so I don't I don't know what I'm doing but um I guess we just attach piece by piece like so Eesh. These are a lot longer than I attended them. I don't know. I'm just... Just make it work, right guys? Let's see if I can... Oh boy. Supposedly you're supposed to make maybe 30 pieces. Did not do that.
All right. I don't know. I don't know if that really looks like a beard or if it just looks like plumage. guys so I'm gonna say I'm not an expert here. It's gonna look a little messy, but something a little makeup can hide. All right. So there's the beard. What do you guys think? A little weird, right? Definitely needs some work. I need to add some up, upper layers. So let's see if we can take this all off in one piece. Sorry guys, this is the beard up close. As you can see, I added a uh, couple more layers of latex. I did um, kind of cut up some more pieces of hair, stuck it down with tacky glue to sort of hide um, any liquid latex you can kind of see through. So, I added this cute little curly bit. So now I'm going to put this baby on. test. I learned a few things. Mm, I figured out I'm going to have to cut it in pieces for it to stick to my face properly. It's amazing how many muscles you have in your fucking face. Um, and that can cause a lot of different issues. 
uh, I had to keep reapplying liquid latex. But I will say this, this part right here stayed. Like, so apparently this is the least sweatiest, flattest spot of my face. So that's good to know. So I guess next time I will have to cut it up into pieces so there's less weight or a distribution of weight. Yes, that. Um, I think honestly, I felt just a little uncomfortable because I was testing out a beard, was getting a lot of weird looks. I mean, I don't care about that. What I care about is uh, I was making sure my beard wasn't gonna fall off my face. Thankfully, even the places where it was kind of coming off, I talked to a few friends, they said it looked fine. So that's good. Cool. Awesome. Um, thank you for coming on to my journey of being a non-binary drag, trying to figure out my shit. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it.